Recommended and I'm seeing this video NYPD allege allege alleged 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 anyway Ja Wu got back and killed 13 year old Dren gang member Nigga what nigga what the fuck nigga the fuck going on so I ain't gonna lie I have no idea what this means but if you guys do remember we reacted to a video where Ja Wu got kidnapped basically I don't know if you guys remember that video where he got stripped they basically took him or something, they put him in a car and they stripped him and they were taking videos. We reacted to the video on IG Live and basically he got exposed. But now I'm assuming that Ja Wu has got back for the videos that got leaked online of him getting exposed and everything. I mean, we reacted to everything, so I think it's only right that we react to this. But this is crazy. Ja Wu killed some... No, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I, I met Ja Wu. Like, Ja Wu seems like good people. I don't, I don't think he out here murdering little kids and shit. Like, uh, come on, gang. Come on, ah. Uh. What the fuck going on in New York, nigga? Oh, I can't even go over there anymore. And that's enough talking, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just trying to get into the video and actually figure out what's going on. So, uh, let's get into the video. You feel me? <laughs> Bro, I know you see the title. I was struggling to read it. NYPD alleged Ja Wu got back and killed 13-year-old drenched gang member. Bro. What's good, yo? We back with another video. Bro. In nearly a month after Ja Wu was kidnapped, he stripped, recorded live. See, this what I'm talking about, bro. We, we, we seen the video. Ja Wu got caught like it. G's and others. NYPD has now connected a 13-year-old boy passing away to that incident. That's what they're insinuating in this. No! Ja Wu! The 13-year-old boy killed in Brooklyn shooting was targeted in a revenge plot over Instagram no! live TV. No, Joe Wu. No way, this is real. You're lying. Come on, demon. Come on, demon. Come on. Run down in a parent gang hit was killed as revenge after a rival was beaten and forced to strike it on Instagram live. Sources said he has identified two persons of interest but has made no arrest in connection with the death of Troy Gill, otherwise known as Tie Five. A few blocks from his Bro, high school, what? around 10. 13 is crazy though, nigga. Ja, come on, gang. This is, I don't believe it's Ja Wu yet. I'm gonna need some picture proof, gang. On February 29th, according to law enforcement sources. Ty Five was shot four times by rival gang members after attending a Brooklyn Nets game earlier in the night. And he called his mother in a desperate panic in his final moments. Oh, was no. Uh, no. No. Uh, Bro, imagine you just got a shot on the light and your mom's on the other side of the phone. She can't do nothing to save you, gang. And you dare a shot. Mom, I just got shot four times. I'm about to die. Nigga, your mom's... Bro, that's the worst thing a mom can ever hear in her whole life. In her whole life. Her baby is about to die on the phone. She can't do shit. She don't know where he is, what's going on. She probably screaming down the phone. Hey! She just... Not Ja Wu. What was the nigga name? Troy! Troy! No! Bro, that's fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's actually fucked up, bro. I lucky don't fuck with this, bro. And he was shot four times in an arm and chest and did succumb to his injuries. Arm and chest? I don't believe dead. Top 5 was targeted for his affiliation with the street gang, but the child did take part in a social media beatdown of Ja Wu that sparked the alleged oh revenge killing. Prior to Ty Five's murder, the suspected gunman was kidnapped by members of Ty Five's gang and forced to strip naked, then beat down in a live stream attack. So what the police are saying is Ty Five. Bro, bro, this is a little ass kid, bro, nigga, nigga, what? This is a little ass kid. This nigga's in middle school, bro. elementary school, nigga. This nigga should be motherfucking outside playing football, playing with Power Rangers, or motherfucking like drinking out the fountain still, bro. Like, what the fuck? Why is this nigga even outside stripping niggas and beating them? What's wrong with. Bro, New York is tapped. New York is tapped. 
New York is actually tapped. Why is this guy like 13 throwing down gang signs, bro? 13 year old from Dress Gang. That's where his tattoo is. How does it know? How the fuck does he have a Oh my. A 13 year old. All right, tell me who in their right mind 13 year old has a tattoo. This is not a regular 13 year old, okay? I ain't gonna lie. This is not a regular 13 year old, bro. At 13, I was still drawing tattoos on my arm with like pen in, in, in school and shit. Thinking, oh yeah, like, like yeah, look at this new tattoo I got. Would you? This nigga motherfucker got the real thing, the needles, everything in his arm. What the fuck, bro? How did your mom even let you get that? My mom still don't want, don't even let me get tattoos. They could like, what the hell? Oh, Crown Heights, in a day after the Jawu situation where Jawu was kidnapped, forced to strip, beaten down by Humble G's and bro. others, 24 hours later, their legend Jawu shot and killed this 13 year old. That's what they're a legend. They have no names. What the fuck? Jawu actually did it? It wasn't even someone from, it wasn't even Jawu's man. It was Jawu. No, 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 I don't believe it. I don't, I actually don't. Because they haven't charged them yet, but if it is true, getting back from a 13 year old, no more gotta be said. But one thing that was interesting, a couple days before this article got posted, Kyle Rich was on TikTok Live and got asked a question about Ja Wu, and this was his response. Are you gonna get back for Ja Wu? <laughs> no way, he knew. He knew, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> he knew, no nigga. Comment. He knew. No, I, no comment. Nah, I, he doesn't but know. The one thing he we... don't know. He don't know. He don't know. I'm trolling on God. He don't know. He don't know. What the fuck going on in New York, bro? I, I'm scared to go back. I actually am. I'm scared. Yeah, taking into consideration is step back from the John Wu situation. A 13 year old boy lost his life yet again. He had a tattoo that said Drench King. He had a mom that went on the news and tried to protect her son's name by saying he wasn't a gang member. Of course, of course, every single mom gonna go on the news and say, he's a good kid, he was good, he used to play the piano, straight A's, motherfucker used to cook me meals, and he used to make his bed before he used to leave for school. He never used to skip class or nothing. Really, your son was outside getting tattoos, shooting niggas up, selling drugs, making money, nigga. Real gang member outside, nigga. Like, come on, bro. You don't know your son. Shut up, bitch. You don't know her. You don't. She acknowledged the tattoo, but said he wasn't a gang member. And she probably knew he was. Nigga. He say Drench Gang. He's not a gang member. He's a good kid, straight A student. Drench Gang. Really, nigga? I protect his name. Or maybe she actually didn't know. Maybe she just got really, out of the loop, which happens to a lot of mothers. But I think bad parenting and unfit parents is the reason why a lot of these young men are forced into a certain lifestyle or feel the need that they need to live a certain lifestyle at such a young age. Everybody needs to do their part. If that's from the kid's point of view, from the parent's point of view, Everybody, because yet again, another 13 year old lost his life. It's sad where we live in. That we're not even talking about the 13 year old, we're talking about a child who allegedly getting back and laughing at the situation. Rest in peace, Todd. Bro, y'all know what y'all think. Down two, down not down. one, two lives were lost. Two lives were lost. Because if that 13 year old, obviously that 13 year old kid is dead, right? Nigga. If it was Job Wu, Job Wu got stripped, so he completely lost everything already. He got humiliated online. Then he just threw his life away, killing some. He's not coming out. That's two lives lost. Then the mothers of both of those, the mothers of both of them. If that never happened to Ja Wu, then that 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 gang would have never crashed out, and that never would have happened to the thirteen-year-old boy. So many people are gonna be affected from this. Not just one kid losing his life. Niggas whole families is gonna be affected from this. Niggas friends gonna be affected from this. Niggas gang members gonna be affected from this. Nigga, the streets gonna be affected. Like this is disgusting. I'm gonna get up through it. Push up for with me. Keep doing young. Keep doing me. Be safe, stay dangerous. Good. Pretty serious. Good. Good. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really have much to say after that. Like, I know it didn't say. It says Ja Wu alleged. So you already know everybody's innocent until proven guilty. So right now it's not Ja Wu. You feel me? Like that, that that shit had nothing to do with him right now. But the 13 year old kid is whether it was him or not is dead. The 13 year old kid is not here anymore. Rest in peace to him and uh, like prayers to his family. All condolences to his family because that shit is. Fun. But the amount of people that are affected. And this was literally, somebody thought it was funny to like beat someone up and put them on Instagram live. I bet if he got beaten up and they didn't put him on Instagram live, then Ja Wu wouldn't have been as humiliated, you know? Like personally he would feel humiliated, but once you put it on the internet for everyone to see, it's trying to, it's to ruin a person. You're trying to ruin their character, you're trying to ruin their life, you know? Like you're trying to make them seem like a, a pussy, whatever you want to call it. So all I'm trying to say is that 13 year old kid probably wouldn't have died if 
that wasn't put all over social media to try and degrade somebody. I mean, what more can you do to degrade somebody? Like, there's nothing worse you could do. I don't think you could do anything worse than what they did to Ja Wu than kill him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do anything worse. But the only thing that somebody could get back is to kill somebody. I don't even know. All I'm saying is that if this shit didn't reach the internet and it was just some street politics, I don't think it would have ever gone this far. So to be honest, it could be social media's fault, but at the end of the day, social media is not going to jail, so a lot of lives have been lost in this, and that's just like fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, we'll follow the story if you guys want me to follow it, but like, fuck, bro. I just feel bad for these kids, bro. Shit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Apart from that, I'll catch you guys in another video. Life, life, bro. What is internet beef? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck a rumor. How well you been told? Like ski mask up and it ain't even cold. Real life, these niggas just fold. Put on socials, everyone's